Bam! And welcome back to Cocktails and Queens. Check it out. Tonight we are joined by a powerhouse singer and author who just so happened to be part of the legendary group Escape. But first, let's take a behind the scenes look at her new single tonight with Method Man. I like yes. that. Please welcome Tamika Scott. Hey. 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 Tamika, hey. how are you doing tonight? <laughs> First of all, let me say, y'all gave me a reason to drink today. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. you beautiful queens. Salute to you. Thank, Thank you, girl, because this is our third anniversary, 139th show. I thought it was such an odd number. I was like, 139 and not 140, but it fell on <laughs> Monday, so here we are. Yes. Tamika, before we dive into the music, we must address the elephant in the room, oh my you know, because your sister Latasha <laughs> Scott recently appeared on our show as well, and this is what she had to say, so take a look. Oh, Lord. It's not even about the $30,000. It's about having my sister back. Like, I'll give you that. But That's at the right. end of the day, you need to talk to me. I don't want to hear from somebody. You're talking to everybody else outside of me. Talk to me. Okay, now, I want to share this because you and I just saw each other uh, last week. And I had to come to you. And this is personal for me because I know that some, if not all, has witnessed the confrontation that my sister and myself had on the show Fox Soul Cocktails of Queens on my birthday. And what it really was for me, it came across as anger, but it was really hurt. And the hurt is what allowed the tears to come and me to point the finger. But my family, my friends, and being out of town with a special friend, when I woke up in tears and she said, you are the sister, you're the older sister, you have to make a difference. You have to do something about this. And through my tears of feeling like my ego was bruised and uh, why me and why should it have to be me? It doesn't matter who it is, because all I know is that I wanted my sister back because we family, you know. So I want to give you, you know, your space here. And I'm so glad that you are here because I heard you say that, you know, you didn't want to address this anymore. And we want to respect that. But is there anything that you would like to say? And, and where do you ladies stand now? Well, I mean, currently we're still not speaking. Um, yeah. Oh, no. But I want to thank you for when we spoke, you being that person to say, you know, I want y'all to get back together. Like you probably the first positive person I've talked to. Everybody else be coming in and, oh, you need to do this. You should do that. But you came to me and said, I know where you are. And I felt your heart. And I really appreciate that from you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so welcome. And it's not going to, I, I ain't going to be able to just let the period lie there. I'm going to reach out and we going to have to get this together. You can ask Vivica. I'm, I'm, I'm as hard as I am. I'm just as soft too. I'm about togetherness. I'm about a, a, a group effort. I'm about being able to come together and support each other. So we, we, we you're going to hear from me. We're going to have to get this together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tamika, I know with Lisa Ray that absolutely comes with love. You know, her and I over the years went through challenges that I was like, oh, child, I'm never going to talk to her again. And, you know, time heals all wounds. Know yeah. that, okay? You. But if you need the time, don't be afraid to take it, okay? Thank you. And have people respect that. So listen, we're going to move on. Um, let's talk about your reality show. Yeah. Let me say, before we move on... I want to say that I love my sister. Yes. Good. That's good to know. Sister. And I support her wholeheartedly. And I ask everyone to support her. And I ask everyone. It's Queen. okay, babe. It's okay. Prayers. That's love. That's love. That's why I said, take the time. And it's okay, baby. Take the time for that when you're ready. That then you can say you are. It's okay. Mika, this is a positive, like, safe place for you. Yes, if just if know that. If if your sister's watching, is there anything you'd want her to know? Yeah. Or say to her? Like that, like maybe that could be the catalyst to start this. And uh, is there anything you want to say to her if she's watching? 
I just, I want the best for her. Mm -hmm. And I want her to love herself. Mm -hmm. And don't let nobody stop you from being who you are. Yes. Because you were who you are before you met him. Oh. You're going to always be that star with or without him. Mm. I want you to love yourself. It's not about me. It's not about the group. It's about you. And it's about your love for yourself. Because you deserve the best. And a lot of women have to learn that. It's self-love. Do you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we get caught up in, in situations that take us to the left. So I'm glad you said that to your sister. Okay, baby, it's all right. It's okay. Let's move on. Okay, let's talk about some happy stuff. All right. Because we didn't bring you on to have you crying. We want to celebrate you because you've got a show, SWV and Escape the Queens of R&B, which is very popular. Everybody loves it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the way you all were represented on the show? The show itself, mm -hmm. if I had a chance to do it over, I wouldn't. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Why? Totally because it's just a lot that happened. And sometimes when you do, when you do business with friends, sometimes mm -hmm. some people don't know how to take the business and they like to say, oh, you've been disrespectful, but it's not being disrespectful is we're having a business conversation. And, and it's been a big misconception about, oh, escape was very disrespectful, but we weren't, you know, you had Candy saying, you know, about the top billing and, you know, we had a conversation and one thing that shouldn't have happened, it shouldn't have happened on TV. It should have been the managers talking it out. Right. Right. But it didn't happen that way. And a lot of things were said that shouldn't have been. But one thing I can truly say is that we never disrespected SWB. We never said we wanted to fight. We never talked about their bodies. We never talked about everything that were said were facts and it was business. So do you think I, there's going to be a season two? No, <laughs> I won't be in it. <laughs> no, nope, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because, you know, looking at it, you see these two Powerful. Great groups, powerful groups that's still thriving. 30 years, 30, 30 years for us, 31 years for mm -hmm. SWV. It could have been a better situation, but right. it wasn't. And unfortunately, it's not a tour. But you know, I I got love for them. They're so talented. They got hits. They're still, I still love them, you know, but just the business, just we couldn't get the business together. Mm. So that was just the sad part about that. Tamika, do you think Word. that reality television perpetuates Black women going against each other? Do you think this was an opportunity to, to really, you know what I'm saying, um, exploit you guys instead of build you up another opportunity? Do you think this, this happened on purpose? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It was just a lot of different elements that were happening. Um, I feel like if we would have stayed course on what the show should have been about. And if everybody would have had the same mind from the producers to the directors, then it could have been a better show. It could have been. Well, I'll tell you a show that's absolutely popping, honey, and it's your video, okay? The show <laughs> of your video. Okay, and you just released a song called Tonight. Yes. Method Man. Woo, okay. The cow. Okay, so let's take a listen to the new song. Me and my missus, hugs and kisses, we just different. Traces of lipstick, we can escape and just kick it. Tonight, tonight, it's the night, the night. Can't no drama come away. Tonight I'm gonna celebrate. Tonight, tonight, it's the night, the night. Tonight I'm letting go. It's my life, I'm in control. Mm. Let me be honest and oh, transparent here for a minute, cause no. I, I forgot y'all all know how to sing. But baby, I think y'all good. Soul Train Awards, and you belted out what you belted out. I said, "What?" I said, "I forgot she sang, sang." Thank I, you. It, so you showed up, girl. You showed out. I was like, "Yeah, they here. That's why we love them." Yeah, and Tamika, <laughs> I first of all, for me, I'm just so proud of you, and I am so happy for you because through everything that you're going through and everything that 
escape is going, all the things that all the ladies are going through, you all still find a way to prevail. You know, and I and I just I love the song. I love that you did it with Method Man. But what inspired you to do this song and be courageous? You know, pass all this drama, and then okay, I know why you chose Method Man because you Method Man. <laughs> but you know, because that was the classic Mary J. Blige. Did you have like on your mind your all I need kind of redo? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what was your whole? You know, what was the energy behind this record? Well, I actually wrote this record a couple of years ago for a mixtape that mm -hmm. never came out. So I was cleaning up one day and I was listening to it after going through this mess with the TV show. And I was cleaning up and I was listening. I was like, can't no drama come away. Hey. Tonight I'm gonna celebrate. I was like, "Woo!" I needed it. The words, it resonated with me. And right. I was like, you know what, for one night, I just need to celebrate me. It was a lot yeah. of things that I accomplished that I wanted to show on the on the on the um show, but they took away. Like you saw Tiny, she was cooking out of my cookbook. They wouldn't mention it. She was using my seasonings. They didn't mention it. She made one of my drinks. They didn't mention it. I brought the seasoning to Taj. They didn't mention it. So I was like, I'm gonna celebrate me. During the pandemic, I created eight different spices, Tamika Scott Southern Fuse, and I have my own cookbook. Table set cooking with Tamika Scott, because y'all know I love to cook. I be throwing okay. <laughs> So none of that was shown. So I said, you know what? If nobody else going to celebrate me, I'm going to take out this one day. Can't no drama come my way. I ain't thinking about no bills. I ain't thinking about no naysayers. I ain't thinking about no haters. I'm going to celebrate me. And I want this song to be that celebration for all of us, because it's a lot of us wives and, and mothers and grandmothers and, and entrepreneurs and people that's working nine to five. We get so caught up in making sure the family's good, making sure, you know, the boss band is satisfied on the job. When are we going to take our time to celebrate us? So this song is a reminder to take out that time and celebrate you because you deserve it. Okay. Well, you I, love, I love that that seems to be the theme of the show, starting with Miss Evelyn before you. And I, I want to just let you know and, and spread some positivity to you. I'm looking at the comments and they are loving you. They want to bring you to number one. They want you to be on Atlanta Housewives. They want to see more of you. They cool. are supporting you. I just want you to know that. Thank I, you. I, I've been on reality TV where you go in with the best intentions, like we're going to be positive and you get positive, but the positive gets edited out and it's on the, on the, on the editing room floor. And you're like, I did my part, but that's up to producers, what they want to pick and choose. And once there's a fight, they're going to run with that. But despite all that, I want you to know that people saw through all that and they are still showing you a lot of love in these yep. comments. So please mm -hmm. don't cry. Yep. Please know you are so loved. And Tamika, the fans want to know, I want to know, we want to know here at Cocktails of Queens. What can we expect from you next? Because you're you, you doing your thing. And are you <laughs> planning you. on releasing a solo project soon? Well, right now I am still with my group Escape. We're still doing shows. We have a lot of shows coming up. I have a list here I want to talk about. So if you are in Ontario, California, South Carolina, we'll be here in Atlanta, June the 2nd, Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville. We are still doing shows, the three of us, until my sister wants to come back and join the group because she's working on her, her gospel album make sure y'all support definitely support my sister support me and my single tonight um i just shot a movie a christmas movie that's coming out at the end of the year so you get a chance to see me do a little acting and my daughter young naya she just dropped her ep called switch it up young naya she's yes. <laughs> my mini me so make sure y'all cop that too i said i'd be joking i'm like well she could be out here selling drugs or selling some booty but she's not okay she work. she's rapping so we just gonna support her <laughs> well, that's a good thing girl you got some good things going on you know what I mean? Your future looks bright. Maybe that's what the whole show was about. Just to showcase you and put you in a whole life for you to be cleaning up that day and find that doggone song and put it out and say, hey, this is who I am and this is where I stand. So we thank you as the queens to one queen to another. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your tears, your happiness, your joys, and your blessings. Thank you. Thank you all. Congratulations. And shout out to Method Man. Shout out to Method Man. Oh, God. Yes, shout out to Method Man. Hey.